Hey, for this section of the guide, we're pretty much just going to be discussing uh, just getting started with Arena, what things you need to do before you even step into the game. And obviously one of the main questions I always get is how do you set up your UI, user interface, how, what add-ons do you get, what key bindings do you use. And uh, that's what we're going to go over first because getting your setup uh, down at the beginning is very important because once you start practicing, you want to have the muscle memory down so that your game, uh, your skill, your playstyle is very fluid. And once you change bindings, you change uh, your setup, it kind of messes you up and hinders you. So you really want to get used to it at the beginning. So first things first, we're just going to go over some basic add-ons. Now, if you look at my add-ons here, you'll see I'm not a big... Uh, add-on fanatic, but I do have the basic things that you need for Arena. Uh, Afflicted, that's a more advanced add-on. We'll go over that in a later video. Uh, back on, that's just some different. Cooldown timers. Uh, handy. Uh, most uh, players have something to track their cooldowns. At the beginning, this is useful, especially when you're stepping into Arena. Later on, you'll kind of be able to visualize or mentally know when your cooldowns are up, but Cooldown timers 3 is what I use. I like to use that just to see when my stuff is ready. Also it comes up. I'll show you that when we go in game. Uh, DR tracker. This is good for watching diminishing returns of other players. And if you don't know exactly what that is, we'll talk about that later. That's a nice add-on to have. Gladius is a key, key add-on that you need. Basically... It's, it's an arena unit frames. There are a lot of other add-ons out there, but Gladius is one of the best right now. It's a must. Quartz is your basic casting add-on, casting bar add-on. Let you have a focus frame, and it's also it's got a nice, uh, nice design to it. A lot of people would like to use Quartz. And then we got scrolling combat text, which just shows uh, certain key things on the text. A lot better than the Blizzard. Uh, default combat text and then we have scrolling combat text damage and uh, basically you can get all this stuff uh, on our site and we'll have a link to that or you can get it from any add-on site wow curse anything like that just make sure you keep up to date with this with these add-ons after the patch um, a lot of people try and get a lot more add-ons a lot more advanced stuff but honestly once you get used to it, you really don't need a lot of add-ons, and a lot of top-level players will tell you this, that, I mean, when you're watching add-ons, you're not really watching what's going on in the game. So, it sometimes it really does hinder you if you have way too many add-ons. So anyways, now we're going to go ahead and step into the game here. And the second thing that people always discuss is the UI itself, the key bindings. And as you see here, if you can see here on my display, I, you can't see anything right now. There are no action bars, no nothing. That's mainly because I'm hi I'm hiding them. Once you get to a level of play, you really don't want to know. You know what your key bindings are. It's pretty fluid, so you don't really want to see them as you're playing. But for this, I'll go ahead and uh, open them back up. Now, also there are a lot of add-ons to get to be able to customize your action bars. But honestly, I mean it's nice to have, but you don't need it. As you can see here, everything's key bounded. And this is this is crucial. I mean, all the time you see people making fun of clickers, and there's a reason for it, is because if you're clicking you're not completely fluid with your class and you're that's just hindering your skills right there. So first things first got to start to set up your action bar. Now, uh, we've got a list of uh, UIs that we like to use. We've got our UIs on the site if you want to copy ours. But honestly, getting your UI set up, it's all about personal preference. Now, there are some key things that you want to keep in mind. Now, I know for left-handed players, it's, it's kind of different, but the same applies. I, I try and always have my key bindings around Waz. I try and make it so it's as close to my my fingers as possible when I'm playing. So I don't I don't even like going up to one, two, three, four. Like 
those aren't even my favorite key bindings. I enjoy E, R, F, Shift D, Shift R, Shift Q. Those are much better. And if you look here, you see I got my main spells E, Q, 4, F, Shift 4, C, Shift 2, 3, Shift Space, Shift B, Shift F, Shift D, Control F, Shift C, Shift, shift 3, B, X, uh, some random ones here.